The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Folks, uh, let's take a quick look at some of these markets. We're going to start out here with the gold market today because we hit something really big this morning. We're going to go to the weekly chart and bring it up to show you where we are. Uh, there's our number coming down here. We had an order to buy it here at 1881. Put our stop at 1874. Uh, the low was 1874.50, so keep that stop working. <clears throat> if it gets filled, we'll probably relook at it again at 1869 because that's the 78% level of this move. But we've completed the big ABCD move here since July. Here was the Fed, if you remember, there uh, that day when we were looking at the Federal Reserve, and then boom, down she came, and here it is uh, right now, uh, today. There is something else that's out there that could be causing this and that is this pattern right here which is this larger a b c d pattern right here there's your a b leg there's your c d leg and that could take it all the way down here to 1825 and that would be pretty close to the 61 percent retracement of the low going way back when we were at 1600 in gold you can see that number comes in here just below, uh, and we're looking at 1825 and possibly even hitting below 1800, getting to 1796. I'm still bullish in gold, folks. Uh, well, I, I have to be because I bought it at 1881. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that's basically what I'm looking at right now. The bearishness, we've completed most of the pattern through here. But this big move down here, you can see here we're down $70 this week, which is a, a huge move to the downside. So let's pay, pay attention to the patterns. Folks, do you remember when we were back here, we couldn't get anybody to buy it? Look at this beautiful three-drive to a bottom pattern right here. Look at this. There's A, B right there, C, D, da, da, bing, bing, bada, boom. Look at that beautiful symmetry, number of days down, just absolutely perfect. And if you looked at it real closely, you could see another A, B, C, D pattern in here right about there at the same time. That's off by about a buck, but there's your main one right here is this three drive to a pattern, three drive to a bottom pattern here. Now we've got one other one we have to pay. Well, there's so many to pay attention to today that it's very, very, uh, very, very informative to look at some of these charts from a technical basis. Let's take a quick look at the old uh, black gold crude oil. Look at this, folks. You see this ABCD pattern right here? Since July, September, and August, there's your 44%. Uh, I think that it came almost exactly to the 382. And there's the 382 right there, right about in here. And you notice here that we have this number right up here, this 1.618 expansion. Well, folks, thanks to our good friend, Mr. R.W. out there in uh Muscle Shows, North Carolina, I think is where he lives. Let's take a quick look at this because he sent an incredible chart that I think we all should take a look at it. This is it right here. We're going to get it up here, and then we're going to blow it up so everybody can see it, I hope. I hope we are. I hope, I hope, I hope. Yeah, here we can see it pretty good. There it is right here. Look at that. Look at the number, folks. The 1.618 expansion on that came to 9503. Do you know what the high was? 9503. Randy, you got really lucky, but the chart is great. Now we're starting to move down. First thing you'd be watching for would be the 382 uh, to the downside. So let's get back and take a quick look at that. So from the last low, you'd want to be looking for a 382 coming in, possibly right around here at about uh, right around 89, yeah, right around $89 near this low right here. There's also a possibility of making just the first 382 of this one right here, which is probably, well, we're already through it right now, so that tells us we still have a chance to go a little bit lower. So that's the crude oil. Now let's talk about the old stop and pee, okay? Here's where we are. We had that big move. You know, our number that we were looking for was a 43.16. Uh, we went down lower yesterday to 42.75, and boys and girls, 
please take your hats off and tip them over there to Miami, Florida, where we have Mr. Shane Smolian, who's texted me four minutes before this happened that he was covering his short position at, are you ready, boys and girls? Right there. That's where he covered. 42.77. The low was 42, uh, 45, I believe, or something like that. Anyway, hit it right on the money. But look where we are right now, folks. If you like ABCD, and some people do, we're just going to take a look at this from where we are right now. So the market had a big run up. It pulled down to the 50% retracement today. You can see that's right there. Okay. Of course, it went above here. We knew we were going to be going higher. Now, if you like ABCD, Johnny, Put the card down. Everybody likes ABCD, okay? Let's take a look. There's your A leg right here. There's A, and there's B, and there's C, and there's D. 43.55, and the high was 43.55.75. Not too bad. Now, we backed off about 15. We're down about 13 handles from there right now. So what you want to be watching is if we do get above this, and I hope we do today or tomorrow, if we do get above this, this is what we want to be watching. This is the first major, and I'm talking major here because we rallied 80 handles from the low down here, okay? That's 80 handles. That's that's the biggest rally we've had so far. But if we could just do this, um, this is this would be my, my semi-Christmas present. If we could do that, I would be happy to, uh, you know, be happy with that. The reason what I'm looking for here, folks, is looking at this on a daily basis, what I'd like to see here is get this out of the way. There was our target right here, 43, uh, 43, 43.16. Now we're having a rally. This rally is the really important rally. You see, we had a low here. We had a rally in the pullback and in the boot. We could be looking at a move here because, see, these were equal, okay, to the downside. So this rally right here that we could be looking at could go between right here, which was a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve days, we could rally for two weeks and still be in the realm of a very bearish market. But if in fact it's really bearish, and I'm talking really bearish, what we're gonna looking at here is this number right here, this old low at forty four hundred, we're at forty three forty one right now. Just put this on your chart and mark it because if it does and if it does, do this and take three or four days. We got Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, well, we don't count Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If next Friday we're only up here, oh boy, look out, Gertrude. Look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven days. So watch for a little seven-day pop into this. And if you get it right in here, Ooh, that would be really nice. Now, that's a 382 off of here. If this market is really bullish, and it could be, you go from the high here to the low here, and, oh, that is the 382 here. It comes in higher at uh, 4434. So those are the two numbers. We'll be watching this each day, but there's, there's the 382 off of this one. There's a 382 off of this one. I hope that helps. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to uh, take a look here at the uh, Dow Jones E-mini futures. Uh, you'll notice here that we completed the A, B, C, D uh, perfectly here. You'll notice there's your uh, tiny bit below it. There's your A, B leg. There's your C, D leg. And as you can see, we went right down. And the number we were looking for was 33578. And the low was 33544. Wow, missed that by 0 0.30. 30 points in the Dow, $150. Well, I'm going to new, do something a little different. Since I missed that so far, I'm just going to put in my moving average and see when that will give me a buy signal. I guess that'll be when it gets up into here. Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, I don't even know what this moving average is. <laughs> let, me, let me find out which one it is. I sh hey, I'm, I'm not making fun of moving averages. This is an exponential 13-day uh, 13, 334, whatever the heck that means. Anyway, m the master of this is Basil Chapman. He can use these like no one I've ever mentioned. And he uses multiples, which is really good. But the reason why, and I'm answering a question is what I'm trying to do here, is why I don't use moving averages and oscillators is because they're lagging the market, okay? You can see it's way behind here. Yeah, sure, it's been going down. Once you close below it here, yeah, that was a good sell signal. But this was a better one because that was at point D, okay? So I, that's all. I. It's a lagging indicator. Just like if I wanted to use a, a stochastic or anything else like that, I, I don't use those because they're, they're lagging indicators. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to get someplace in the market, and the ABC has served me well, and that's what I'm looking at, okay? So that's basically what I'm looking at. I want to take that off uh, because I don't want to remind myself of it again. And believe me, folks, I was not making fun of it because there's a lot of times where ABCDs just will tear you a new one if you're not really careful. Other times, it looks pretty good. Over here on the bottom, look at this nice ABCD that you had right there. As a matter of fact, this is known. If you look at this really closely, we'll just get this up here and draw it so you can see it. Back here in June or May, you can see this was a beautiful, nice little butterfly. See, it's not a three-drive pattern. A three-drive pattern, you have to have a lower bottom in here. If you've got a higher bottom, and you got an A, B, C, D, you have a butterfly. And that's what that is. Okay, now let's get over and get this out of the way. Now, we've got Mike Moore coming up, and I've got a question for Mike. I was talking to you folks yesterday, 
And let me just show you what I want to talk about here. Let's get the crude oil up. Here's crude oil right here on the 50 minute. You see, we've already backed off uh, almost, we've backed off $3, $3 a barrel today, folks. That's what it's backed off from the from that big ABCD 1.618 expansion. See, 94.89 was the ABCD. The high was 03. This is where we are now. The first thing you'd look for, that if you were fi lucky enough to find a 382 or an ABC somewhere in here. Okay, well, you don't see anything here except you see, look at this. Look at this. What is, John, what is that, Johnny? Is, is, is that what I think it is? It's an ABCD. Let's just see if it goes to the 382, just for kicks and giggles. There's your high right over here. There's your low here. And there's your high right here. <laughs> what does this number say right here? That says 0 0.382. Well, how do you do 0 0.382? Look at it right there. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Not so bad. That tells us that we're probably going to go down to right here, which is the big ABCD of this one, which is 9049. So people are asking me, did I do this trade? No, folks, I did not. Larry is not trading today. I didn't even buy gold today because I was one worn out puppy. So I taken two days off of the trading. I'll do the radio show, but no trading. In fact, I just started looking at the markets right before the show came on. I All these things I'm looking at are on second time, but I'm not watching them because I have need a little time off. I've been basically, I have a, I've been burning the candle at both ends and the candle burned me this morning when I tried to turn it off. So I'll be back in the business of trading back on Sunday. But, you know, I know where these markets are going. All I'm going to be doing is waking, waking for the times that really make it look good. And that's what I want to do. Okay. Anyway, remember this, folks, this is uh, really hard to go. But look at this one here. Let, there's other things here that you can use. And this is what I want to be showing folks when you have a real strong trending market. Look, this thing's been going up forever. Okay. The first sign that it stopped going up forever is look, you've got lower tops in here. Okay. I haven't even done the 382s of those because that's way down here. I don't even I think I can do it. Ah, No, I can't because it keeps it keeps updating, and that won't do it. But if we if we looked at this right here, you'll see these. Uh, you can't see it. Uh, that's what happens when you're live and not Memorex. So anyway, these are lower tops in here. That's telling you it. And when you when you start breaking these bottoms, look at this beautiful three drive. Now that that is a really nice three drive to a bottom pattern. Look at that. You got a perfect A, B, C, D. And if it were really bullish, the market would go pretty good. It went. Uh, it rallied. Uh, it rallied $600 right here. Now, I don't think that was a 382, but let me double check just for fun kicks and giggles. You know, move that in right here. And it didn't even make a 382 retracement. That would have been up in here. But there was your 382 retracement that we wait for, which is also the AP equals CD. It works during that time. So as H.M. Um, Gartley said, Her Harold McKinley Gartley, sell that first ABCD in a bear market and buy that first ABCD in a bull market. And by golly, doesn't work all the time, but it works a lot of the time. All right. Now, we want to get back here. We only got four minutes to go before we're going to or six minutes before we have Mike uh, up, Mike Moore of Moore Analytics up. But I want to talk to him about the crude oil because what I'm seeing in crude oil is a massive divergence between crude oil and heating oil like I've never seen before. And I view this – I'm probably way off here. But when you have a crude oil contract, that crude oil has to be fracked. In other words, it goes through a fracking process where it breaks into heating oil and gasoline. Okay, That's no difference in my opinion as a commodity trader than if you have a soybean – that breaks down into soybean meal and soybean oil. Soybean meal is 80% of those three beans in the pod, and the bean oil is 20%. I don't know what the relationship is between heating oil and gasoline on that percentage, but we're going to find that out from Mike Moore because that's an, that's an indication that you want to be looking you know, for something like that. So I, I hope that helps. I, I, I just did the old cowboy back in the envelope math that I'm looking for there, so I hope that gives you some idea of uh, what we're watching here. I think that was the last one. Oh, the last one here was the, the soybean oil. If you remember, folks, we were looking at soybean oil, and we were looking to be a buyer 
uh, right here. And of course, you know, it uh, went, we, we, we took a quick loss here of about 130 points or $180. And now you're starting, it's starting to break down, you know, really badly. We had a really nice setup there. It was everything that you could ask for. But like I say, when these when these things fail, they fail really badly. Because at that same time, you remember, we had a really nice a, B, C, D pattern coming in there at the same time. That's why it was so so really nice. And then, then it turned out to be not so nice, and boom, down it went. Let's just see if the last rally up here was a 382 off of the last high. I don't think it is, but it might have been. From the low, there's your 382. There was your rally right there. 382 is what you do. Thumbs up, Johnny. We'll be right back, folks. Mike Moore, more analytics, 877 -9. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we've got Mike Moore from More Analytics on the line. Mike, how are you doing today? Hello, everybody. Good, thank you, Larry. How about yourself? You're, look, you're looking good. I got a question, Bubba. I'm an old soybean trader. I started trading beans back in 1960, and I've always been looking at the crush. When they crush a soybean, it's crushed into 80% meal and 20% oil. And I watch right. those as they go up and down. Sometimes the meal will be leader, sometimes the oil will be leader. But when I look at crude oil, 
And I know when it when they when you do a crude oil, they don't crush it. It's called fracking, right? Is that what crack? Yeah, they put it through a cracking, yeah cracking. A, a process called a cracker. Okay, the cracker. Okay, that now that breaks down into heating oil, and then also into gasoline. What is the percentage between heating oil and gasoline when they do uh, a gallon of crude oil? It's either or. It's not percentages on either side. So they either are producing heating oil or they're producing gas, but they're not producing both at the same time. Oh, they're not producing both. That might that might ruin my theory here. My theory is when I look at the crude oil chart that's been going straight up for like 11, 14, 16 days, something like that, and heating oil and gasoline are lagging really badly, that, tell, that right. tells me that if a person is in the crude oil business – why would he buy crude oil when he could buy either gasoline or heating oil at, at a much, much cheaper price? Uh, wait, say that one more time. I'm sorry. Okay. We got crude oil hit $95 a barrel last night, 95 right. three. Okay. We got heating oil is still down, down substantially from where it was last week. A gasoline is in a bear market. So why right. wouldn't he just wait and buy the product as opposed to buy the crude oil? Well, when when you're when you're rallying, <clears throat> you always want to buy the market that's leading the rally. Okay, okay. it's not like uh, you don't want to get into that sucker's thinking that's like, oh, let me buy the laggard horse and maybe it'll catch up. That's not that's not the way it it works uh, in the energies. You know, whatever is okay. leading the drive is is in general the that leader. So it's going to. Um, pay you off far better than the than the other laggards and the same way on the downside if one's leading on the downside you want to be getting on that one uh, as opposed to the one that's lagging on the downside and also you can also play it both ways there's times where you could be long the crude and short the heat and i you know it rarely happens but sometimes they go in opposite directions and when that happens you can have a particularly pronounced move that's what we've just had. In other words, you could be long crude and short gasoline and make a lot of money, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, big, fire, big moves in the away. cracks. Go ahead. It's your show now. Tell us what you're looking at here, buddy. We hit 95. Where are we going from here? Okay. You see my screen all right? Uh, yes, I see more analytics. That's what I'm looking all at. Right. Sounds good. Let's take a look at the uh, crude oil here. Oh, sorry. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, so I turned bearish this morning in the crude. We had, uh, just as a backup, uh, we've been bullish. Well, overall, we've been bullish since we was trading uh, $15.37. But more recently, the break above 65.31, this is the one we've been talking about on the show for the past uh, couple months. Um, but we broke above 65.31. That warranted decent strength. We, we attained $29.72 of that. And you can read about some of the others in here. If you remember also uh, talking on the show before, I was talking about the Brent. Uh, and if you recall, I said that the Brent was poised for $13.90 to the upside from um, the 82.33 level. And then I backed that off the pro projection to about 12.40. We went on to attain uh, 13.02 anyway of that so far before rolling over. But the crude oil this morning... Can you see this uh, Word doc okay? Yes, yeah. It's coming okay. in nice and clear. Um, so we had all that. I put all these bullish formations there on hold this morning. And I said the break above 92.43 major high in conjunction with the failure back below 94.15, which is a trend line I had, now warrants a decent pressure. Um, and that was, you can see it coming in right now. That was... The failure back below these two lines right here so we've been seeing that pressure ever since now we fail back down below this uh and this could turn into something more significant if i uh blow this whole chart up here for a second just to give you an idea well it doesn't show it on this one actually that's not a good example my apologies if we see a gap open lower tomorrow um, that'll leave a main, a minor bearish reversal above as well. This could be the end of this structure upward, could be entering into a, uh, a bearish correction, but it's a little hard to tell right now. But nonetheless, immediately, 
uh, I'm bearish. If we fell back down through this line, we'd broken above this one. I think I was talking about it on the show last time. That's what brought in some of this bullishness after being bearish from the break below here and the bearish from the break below there. If we take that formation out on the downside. That's also going to be bearish. That's going to come in at 89.35 um, at 2 o'clock. 89.35, and that decreases by two ticks per hour. You got any questions? You want me to look at the R bottom? No, heat? no, let's get, keep going. That's great. This is what we want to be seeing. That's sure you don't want to hold you back. Okay, so actually, before I go to the R bottom and the heat, let's just take a look at the cracks because they're important because they tell a story here. So the heating oil uh, was bearish uh, from the break below here. That came off, came off, and then we held exhaustion, exhaustion levels down in here which I said would warn of short covering, and then we broke back above a bearish formation right here. This break right here says that this crack is bullish now. That means that the heat should be strong relative to the crude or the crude weak relative to the heat. And if you take a look at – and you can see that here, sorry – You can see the heat is up, um, is up 89 ticks, and the crude is down 200 ticks. Mm -hmm. So, and then the the RBOB crack, or unleaded gasoline Boy. crack, has just been in this bearish slide right here, meaning that the unleaded is weak relative to the crude, or the crude strong relative to the unleaded. And then looking at the RBOB, the heat spread. That got that turned bearish yesterday on the break back below this line and overall has been bearish. So what does that yes. tell you? This lumbering move to the downside is being led by the unleaded gasoline. Does that mean they're going to have less gas? I mean, gas is going to come down in price here in Tucson because it hasn't moved. It's still four bucks a, a gallon here. Should we start going lower pretty soon? Yeah, well, we're going to take a look right into that right now. But immediately what that tells you is um, the RBOB – is weak relative to the crude, and the heat is strong relative to the crude. So the RBOB is two degrees away from the heat, um, two dimensions away. I don't know how you'd want to say that. But but anyway, in the RBOB right here, we've just left a bearish reversal above, a minor bearish reversal above in that market. We're also coming down. We're approaching this uh, fairly major formation. That's going to come in at 246.65. We've got to take a break here, Mike. Stay with us. Mike Moore and more analytics, folks. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Mike, please continue. Okay, we were, uh, we left off with the unleaded gasoline being bearish. We let, we're leaving a minor bearish reversal above on the day. Um, so, well, there's one main was one major formation below to be aware of that comes in at two forty sixteen, which we're quite a ways away from, and that only increases by two ticks a day. Decent break below there should bring in uh, heavy selling. Doesn't have a specific projection, but this thing could really fall out of bed another 20, 30, 40 cents if we break below there. Going to a lower time frame chart, this would be a 60 minute chart. We have broken below a, um, a number of formations. First of all, we held that exhaustion we were talking about here on the upside. Let me just get this in front of you. We held exhaustion at 269.24 with a 270.21 high and rolled over 24.09 cents. Um, and I warned that that, was, uh, that break below there were warns of a further entry into a bearish correction. So we're seeing that. Then we broke below this formation, this formation. We just pulled up here and just tried to hit the stop. We couldn't get it, and now we're rolling over. Um, so, and this formation I was going to mention here, but it's not fully quite formed, so I'm not going to mention that further. But anyway, this is bearish. Unless we take out this line above, that line above is going to come in at, Uh, 255.18 minus seven ticks per hour. So this is leading the downside. This is the one you want to be if this thing starts to get crushed. Wow. And of course. <laughs> no, I'm saying it, this it could really be set up. I don't want to get political, but if Trump gets elected, that's going to be the anti Biden. Uh, uh, Gas trade. I just I want to show your audience something kind of funny. I think I showed this on a on okay. a uh, on um, one of your previous shows. Hang on a second here. This was one of the larger predictions I ever I ever made in gas. It was right in here when we broke above this formation. Mm -hmm. I'd said this is back in. I was around the tenth of December of two thousand twenty, and I said that it was going to be projected upward. 30 cents minimum, $1.25 maximum, and you can see it just took off. But that mm -hmm. was um, four days before Joe Biden entered office or four days after, right around when Biden entered office. So that's what's happened mm -hmm. since. So okay. anyway. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Mike, from now on, don't mention anything that related to politics, not even the person's first name or last name. <laughs> Okay. Well, no, I mean, no, I know. I, I'm just, reality, I'm just, I'm just I mean, joking. Because, whether whether, you know, you're, whether <laughs> you're politically for either one or not, uh, I wasn't I vote for necessarily both making. I wasn't necessarily making any commentary on who or not. But just if you're if you're serious about trading oil and energy, you have to understand the difference in their policies are vastly different. And if Trump sure. gets in, he's going to be drilling for oil. Period. Well, so one of our guests uh, on the uh, on the pricing of it. 
okay, one of our guests had a propensity for politics, and we had to cool him down for a bit. So we don't want to do that with you. So you did you did really good so far. You can mention that because it was part of a historical thing. So keep that up. So keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah again, it's no political commentary on who I'm for or you should be for or anything like that. It was just a commentary on okay. the, the, Ten the policies are had a major effect on the pricing of oil is what I'm saying. Um, okay, so we're taking a look at the heating oil. Oops, sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, the heating oil has rallied the past two days. It, it did leave a moderate bearish reversal, and that was negated. So that's pretty bullish for the heat. Uh, we had broken below this formation right here and rolled over prior. That was, let me see, trade below, below 325.02. We'd seen 12.43 cents of that. Decent trade below this lower formation that increased, increases by three ticks per hour down here. That comes in at 314.26. We break below that, that will be bearish, and then this will really be projected to the downside. But right now, we're struggling with breaking above this line. If we take that line out, that's going to be bullish. Um, that comes in at 328. Actually, excuse me, that comes in at 327.90 this hour. 327.90 plus four ticks per hour. So if you break above that, we're probably going to head up towards these highs. Now, obviously, if the heating oil breaks above a formation, it, it looks bullish, and the RBOB it breaks below formations and it looks bearish, that means you want to be short the RBOB to heat spread because that RBOB is going to keep coming off and that heat's going to keep going up, and you can make uh, a significant amount off that spread. Even though it's very thin, you could trade the outrights. Okay. Uh, do you want me to mess around with the Brent or the gas oil, which are pretty much similar? Yes, to no, the I WPI? think we – yep, yes, mention the Brent. We've had a question about Brent, the difference between the two. So if you'd do that one, that would be great. Uh, so Brent also uh, rolled over. We came just shy of this major exhaustion level I had up here at 95.60 to 95.91 with the 95.35 high. And we rejected, and then we took out this old high right here at 94.57. So I said this morning that that was poised for a pressure. So we came just shy of significant exhaustion here, the 95.35 high, and also fell back below 94.57, which now warrants a possible pressure. If we take this area out, it'll reopen up the upside. But we basically have been seeing pressure all morning. We fell back down through these formations down below that should bring in further pressure. I know you only got a, a short amount of time, so if you don't have any, if you have any questions on that, we can answer questions, or we can jump to the natural gas. Let's go to the natural gas. You've answered the main question we want to cover, and that that was the uh, difference between those products, and then also uh, the um, the Brent. So we're in good shape. So let's go on to maybe take a look at the S and P. Yep. Oh, did you not want to look at the natural gas? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I heard the word and I didn't do anything about it. Sorry, yeah. Watching it very closely because uh, a lot of resistance just want to let you know that natural gas turned bullish today. Um, we had already um, been slightly bullish in here, but we were rejecting off this line. Now we've broken above this line, which is bullish and projects is higher probably for days. Uh, this is also important because we just finished a bull structure here in a lower time frame, finished a bearish correction against it. And now I think this is the start of a new bull structure upward. We fell back down through this line. That's the key that would change everything. That line comes in at 291, excuse me, comes in at 292 even, minus 0.6 of a tick per hour starting on this hour. All right, S&P 500 had some major calls in here. I think we started these major calls when we were on the show before. Excuse me a second. Sorry about that. I forgot to... Uh, silence that before we get on the show. Was that a telephone ring? What's that? Was that a telephone ringing? Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. You're fine. Everybody's got their own thing. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, you're good. What are you talking about? Not worry about it. Personal here, right? Okay. Yeah. So the S&P 500, I've been bearish for a number of days in here. Um, just overall, I cautioned of exhaustion, 646, 8, 46.18.50 to 46.35.25. We held this with the 46.34.50 high and rolled over 357.5 points. Okay. That was Mike, 
we yep. got to pay a few bills. Stay with us. We'll have you in the last two minutes, okay? We want to we want, we want to talk about gold and also treasury bonds, okay? Okay. All right, we'll be right back with Mike Moore, more analytics, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Get back, folks, with Mike Moore of More Analytics, and we're going to be talking about the gold market. Gold or the S&P? I'll do the S&P first, then the gold. Sorry. Okay. So the S&P right here, I'd said uh, you've been bearish since I caution of exhaustion at 46.35 and a quarter. We held that with the 46.34.50 high, and we rolled over 357.5. You can go back to the past shows where we made that prediction before. Then we broke below this formation right here, which uh, got us more recently bearish at 45.17, brought in 240 points of pressure. And we broke, broke below this formation here, which was a very major formation. I think we were talking about it on the show last time. And um, we've seen 203.25 of that so far. Broke below another formation here at 44.2075. That brought in 143.75 points of pressure and still overall bearish. Uh, we did pop above this little area right in here at 43.3650 to 43.38 and a quarter this morning. That I said should bring a little bit of strength, but now we're failing back down through it, so we may see uh, resumed bearishness in there. If we were to break back above this line, that would probably resume bullishness, and above this line here would would uh, warrant of a significant move up. 
You want to take a look at the? Uh, did you see the um, the bonds? Yes, sir. The bonds. All right. So I don't normally analyze the bonds. I haven't done that in a while, but I did a quick analysis of it here for you. Um, the the bonds broke below a major formation up in this area uh, that projects this much lower with the target down into this area. But that say, that being said, this structure here looks like we may be in the last stretch of it with exhaustion right around where we are, right in this area, another exhaustion right in here, and then further exhaustion levels lower. If this gets back above this line, that's going to be one of a major rally, um, possibly up okay. towards a high. Yep. Hey, thanks for, thanks for joining us, Mike. We'll have you on again soon, folks. Mike Moore of More Analytics, and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems important.